CRB402 is a phase one dose escalation trial testing this uh, novel new drug product for BB21217, which, as I mentioned, is an autologous CAR T cell product. Uh, the entry criteria included patients with relapsed refractory disease. Uh, they had to have been exposed to a PI, an IMID, and a CD38 monoclonal antibody. And then they had leukophoresis, so they ended up getting their cells collected and then uh, underwent manufacturing of this BB21217 drug product. Um, this was given to patients after uh, lymphodepleting chemotherapy, which included fludarabine and cytoxan. So this is very typical of most uh, autologous CAR T cell uh, protocols. We um, screened 75 patients when were able to give the drug product to 72 of them. And what I presented at this year's ASH meeting was data on 72 patients. Three different dose levels were tested. We started off with 150 million cells and went all the way to 450 million cells, which is a recommended phase two dose of this. We did do some biomarker studies on the CAR drug product itself, just to see whether the hypothesis that we had going into the use of BB21217 actually uh, stood the test of enriching for these memory uh, naive T cells. And what we were able to show was that we were able to enrich for a naive memory like phenotype based on the phenotypic characteristics of this autologous scar product so that we saw an increase in CD27, increase in LEP1, and we saw uh, some of the uh, proteins decrease such as granzyme um, and eomis. Uh, so this then suggested to us that we did find a better, uh, you know, naive population. When it came to looking at response rates with this, we saw that the overall response rate was close to 70%. Once you get to the recommended phase two dose, which was the 450 million cells, we saw an overall response rate of close to 80%, with about 36% of these patients achieving a complete response. This is very similar to what you see with the Idacel drug product, which is essentially the same construct which is used out here. But once you start looking at the duration of response, the overall duration of response of all patients was a little over a year. Once you hone in on patients who achieve a complete response, uh, the duration of response was about 27 months. So certainly better and uh, compared to what we've seen uh, with Idacel. Um, Toxicity was very similar. You know, we are now used to seeing CRS and neurotoxicity, and that was manageable. It was seen in a small subset of patients, but they, uh, in general, did well. When we looked at some of those markers of naive T cell enrichment, what we were able to do was correlate those markers with all of the clinical outcomes. So the duration of response was improved, the PFS was improved, suggesting that the hypothesis that we went into this trial with did bear out. And really importantly, what we were able to see, it didn't matter whether you looked at CD4 cells or CD8 cells, once they had this naive memory-like phenotype, the progression-free survival of these patients was much improved. Um, so again, I think uh, uh, going into the study, we were able to show that this naive memory-like phenotype resulted in better durations of response. We also followed up by looking at the CAR T cell product and in the subset of patients where we were able to go out to a little beyond two years, we were still able to find these CARs present, which we hadn't with the prior drug products. So in general, I think um, the data did demonstrate that you do get an enrichment of this naive memory like T cell phenotype and that did correlate with clinical outcomes in our patients as well.